need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pim and your I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gon' fuck on my clip. I need a 30 for 30. All right, T, we didn't get a chance to get your take on uh Harden to Brooklyn. Now, I know you the one. You the one. You are the man who said that James Harden does not fit anywhere in the National Basketball Association. That's what you said. I said it. So now he's up there with Kevin Durant, Kyrie. He got our brothers livid in the damn group text, particularly uh, Jason Clay, Joe, Joe, uh, Brandon McNeil. God damn, they going at it. Snapper. So we we weren't, my phone. <laughs> we weren't able to get your take last week, T. So what? where do you stand on it, dog? Hey, hold, hold on. I got to show America. I got to show America this real quick. I got to show America what you can put down here for your name. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <nah>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. oh, shit. I feel the way I feel, man. Oh, what you got, man? Now, y'all do realize the man has not been uh, – I'm trying to get to his numbers because I'm looking at this game log. Here I go. Here I go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So he's only been over 30. He's been over 33 times. Okay. Uh, looks like they just clipped the Hawks tonight in overtime, 132, 128. Which people would ask why are they struggling with the Hawks. Some people would ask that. Uh, I, I have to say they did lose twice to Cleveland. Since the man been there twice, so here's my general take. Uh, Harden, I think he knows, and, and I, I think Clay said it. I think Clay's might have said it. I can't remember who, but he knows this is his best shot. Uh huh. In all honesty, in terms of talent, in terms of if you can just overpower a team with talent and just the, the, the skill sets that you, the guys that you got, you got Kyrie, you got KD, you got Harden. You can generate, they should manufacture enough points every night to keep you in games or ahead. <clears throat> now, the question is what the bench look like. And the bench ain't there. Another question is what the interior look like. The interior ain't there. So really is this Harden's best chance? So you don't trust DJ? I don't. The DJ's older now. He's not Lob City DJ. Mm -hmm. Now he can still go get a board. You know, he can still get a bucket. He could be a 10 and 10 guy. But he's up, he's in, he's up there. He's up there in age. I mean, it's it's I mean, and then, then okay, do you trust uh Bruce Brown and um Timothy Luawa Cabero? That's another guy. I can't even say his name right. But <laughs> Cabarro. Uh, um, Reggie Perry. Um, Mississippi State. Landry Shamit. I mean, those they, are guys that... They got, your, they got your YMCA, boy. Who that? Joe Harris. Okay, Joe my guy. Now, I ain't got no issue with Joe. Joe Jobs should be just spot up and shoot. That should be his job. He mm -hmm. should be light. He should be diet. And when I say diet, I'm talking about diet, diet. Like diet right, Clay Thompson. Oh, yeah. You diet, diet, diet. Diet, diet, you, diet. You zero, <laughs> zero, zero, zero sugar diet. Yeah. All you that. know what I'm saying? The, I the, thought the, you were going to say Kyle Corb or something. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm doing him a little better. I think he's a really good shooter. I think he's a really good shooter. I think he got a little bit more in this game than Kyle Corb to me. So, but, I mean, I mean, he was going to go where he wanted to go. Harden was going to get there. That was his number one spot. That's where he wanted to be. Uh, since he's been there, he's averaged well above 10 assists. So, obviously, he's the facilitator on that team. Um, I think he had 15 tonight against the Hawks, 31 and 15 tonight. You know, very good showing. Uh, he's had a double-digit He's had double digit assists in every game but one. Um, there was a night when he had 12. He does have a lot of turnovers to his name, to his credit, and he, since he's been in Brooklyn. But that's always been hardened, though, because of the usage, because of the amount, amount of balls he has, the amount of time he has the ball. So, mm -hmm. but uh, we're going to find out 
really and truly when it comes to playoff time. Because I don't think Philly's going to walk, going to shy away. I think Philly's going to play with it. They're going to see, they're going to get the smoke every series. Okay, let me, let me, let me pull you. I was going to ask him about, uh, I was going to ask you about them. Okay. 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 JoJo said, even with James Harden, mm-hmm. Philly still going to take them nets down. Mm-hmm. Now, we did see that, that Philly just knocked off my Lakers tonight. Mm-hmm. I got it. We were taping, so I ain't finished the game. I got to go see what the fuck happened with that one. But uh, Philly did do that, Joe. Joe, I'm aware of that. Yeah, I am aware of that because I know he's going to be talking about them damn six. But uh, so what What do you think about Joe's take on that? You think that was hot take Joe being hot take Joe? Or you think he got some validity to that? Yeah, I, I think he's got some validity there. And I say that because of the simple fact that who got it in B? If in B really, like. Are like, we trusting him, T? I know, I know what you're about to say. I know what, I know what you're okay. about to say. I'm going to go with it like this. This is the year where, and this is a take, this is a, this is to go a little bit different direction, but it's based upon what the Nets are doing in East. This is the year for me where I'm going to either respect Embiid or I'm not. This is the year for me. If he cannot elevate that team with that coach, with Doc, who's highly respected, Highly knowledgeable guy. Even though I did say he should take his ass to the house after the Clipper situation. He should be home, chilling, enjoying life with grandkids and all that stuff. He should be doing that. But he took the job on. NBA has been playing very well since Doc came. Okay? They, they've been playing very well as a team. And they've got depth. They've got everything you need to win a series against the Sixers. I mean, the Nets, in my opinion. Well, go ahead and put it on something. T. Who you picking? If it came down to it, came down to them two motherfuckers right there. Who you got coming out to the East? I'm gonna take the Sixers, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because Doc out schemes Steve, despite despite the talent. T. He Doc just got out schemed by Malone. I get all that. I get all that. But I think he's got their ear, and I and I'm gonna say it because. When I watched them play Boston the other night, Boston was in their butt for for the first half. They they were they were they were giving they were giving Philly all they could ask for without Tatum. And then it was like Ben said, "All right, I'm good. We done. This this is it. Game over." And Ben actually to me was the most impressive part of it because Ben just finally said, "Fuck it. I'm done. Enough. Shut it down." And he shut it down. He just became a dog that last quarter. And NB had like, I think he had like 38 or something. He was stupid. But I got, I still got questions about NB. And I've called y'all and I've told y'all about that. How I be snapping about him, about a little uh-huh. bit of stuff what, he does. I know, I know, saying. I know. So now I you're know. picking them right now. Maybe, on our maybe, program. maybe the nuts drop a little bit more between now and April and May. <laughs> Maybe the nuts go lower then. And then we see him be, be the dog I've been asking him to be for about four years now. Right. Maybe. So, uh, but, I mean, we all know. I, I, I pretty much think the Nets will be Eastern Conference Finals. If not, I it just, it, then, the, then, social, then the media should just, like, just tear it up. They should just go hard. But, the reason I take the Sixers in that series is because of the bench. Like, I like what the Sixers have coming off that bench. They got more size than the Nets coming off the bench with Howard and Tony Bradley. They got some bigs coming off that bench. So rebounding is important in playoff games because you know how it is. It's possession for possession. So if if, if it gets down to it, or as, though, as, my, as my people say around here, if it gets to the nut cutting, it could be different, man. It really could be different. Oh, boy. Hold on. Let me look at your name again. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. T, uh, our viewers, so it's going to be hard for them to say that to you it, 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 when, when y'all, you and JoJo still picking 
the Philadelphia okay. 76. And I'm the Miami guy on this on this panel. And you the Miami. I'm yeah, the yo, Miami man. guy. Hey, yo, he. It's tough right now, though. We ain't got no. We we sit and we hurt. Ain't nothing for me to say. We sit and we hurt. What you want me to say? I got Butler to miss eight games. I got Harold. We hurt. I got Harrow hurt. I got Bradley hurt. I got all kinds of folks hurt. Right. Right, what, what you want me to say? What you want me to say? I want you to say that no matter what, the Los Angeles Lakers will still be the NBA champion. I'm not that guy. Go. Go. Subscribe to our daddy's YouTube channel. He's the best. Hit the like button. Turn on the notifications.